family To keep my cool for tonight, I'm wild I'm a bee In a dangerous mood, can you match my timing? Oh, period. The head is hitting. <laughs> so, first things first, rise up. Did y'all catch the Falcons and the Saints game? Oh my gosh, it was so intense. Down to the very last. But then in other news, this is my daddy t shirt, by the way. Why? Why? Second half, I don't know what they said to Georgia in the locker room, but it came out and they started to play. But it's so disappointing because it was like, had they played like that the entire game, we probably could have potentially. One. Anyways, we're about to do our scrapbook. I wasn't gonna wait for my kids to do it, but I think I want to do mine by myself just for a little self care moment. I told y'all what my plans were in the last video, how I wanted to approach my little what's the name. So right now I'm about to make. Why is the bottom of my cup wet? What you doing, little girl? Water. It's uh. Here go one right here. She don't say may I have? Can I have? Water. 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 Stop. That's rude. Say, can I have some water, please? There you go. Let me grab a dog and put my dog on the phone. I thought I had my burgundy case. I have no clue where it's at. So, I gotta order some off Amazon. Oh, my leaves turned out good. I smushed them onto the paper so that they would get flat again. So, I'm, I'm not gonna use all of them because I want Mackenzie and Maddie to be able to have some. But I told y'all my plan in the last vlog where I'm basically going to, did I just say this already? I'm basically going to create what I'll probably use this front one hey, as good. they are. I'll probably use this. No, the front page is going to be the what's name, and I'm going to date it everything. Malia, run upstairs to get me my pen off the couch. Okay. I thought she was going to tell me no. So, I told y'all my plans in the last while for the 15th time I've said this. Um, I'm doing. No, you're going to bring me my pen. Why is this still wet? Oh, condensation, girl. My plan is to put on one page, here's what I wanna do, for, like my goals and a bucket list for this particular month. And then the next page will be the memories, the things that actually happened for that month. This is not a traditional scrapbook, but personally I don't feel like it has to be a traditional scrapbook. I still need to show y'all the scrapbook that I made. But it's like, if you keep sentimental things throughout the, uh, you'll be able to create it using stuff that of value to you. And then you can also get these. So if you didn't watch the last vlog, we went to Michael's and we went and got some stickers to use. They have so many other ones there, but a lot of it was given like spring, summer, girly. If you never scrap it before, you can literally go on YouTube, Pinterest, and it will show you how to do it. But it's basically like a collage if you've never done it before, but it's very exciting. So I'm gonna quit talking. Just let y'all watch me do my little scrapbook real quick. Turn on the merch. Thank you. What's today? 9.30. Oh, it's raining. Dark. Me and Bean headed to 
hair store to get the hair to feed into this and then we're going to target because i want to see if i can find the film to go to the end sticks insta pics girl i don't know what it is in sticks in stacks in stacks the cameras that i was telling y'all about or did i even tell y'all i don't know but i'm gonna show y'all my little um um scrapbook thing my brother is dying i wanted to talk how are you born to spend money when you don't have a job so my dog, I bought this at Target. I know y'all been seeing these there, but I wanted to add more to my Malia the feet. Malia, seriously, the feet. My mom outside, I got a pink one, and I still have the Corvincas out there that are also pink. But we want to bring in a little bit of fall tomorrow. I'm planning on decorating for Halloween. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Just a little skeleton or two, but I got the burgundy ones to bring a little bit of burgundy. No, 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 no. To bring a little bit on the porch. So I'm gonna sit this out there tomorrow. But here's my question. Why can't this be an indoor plant if it's indoors at Target? Because I looked these up and it says that they're supposed to be outside. Let me read up on it. Whoa. I don't know. It said it needs sunlight, so. And let me show y'all my um scrapbook. First page of my scrapbook. Isn't it so freaking cute? I forgot my battery was about to die. But I basically, like I told y'all, put everything that I wanted to do. Just says it's officially fall. I want to romanticize fall. I want to still visit my coffee shops on Fridays. Okay, I changed my battery. Like I was saying, fall baking, morning walks, slow morning. I want to at least go to one Falcons game this month. Scary movie night with the kids. Visit fall festivals, fall festivals, fairs. What else did I say? Oh, and a pumpkin pack. And then I want to establish healthy routine. And then up here at the top, I'm gonna do Bible verses that I feel like pertain to what I'm trying to accomplish that month. So Timothy 1.7 is about self-discipline and I really wanna establish like, like I said, like healthy routines. I just really wanted to, I hate saying be intentional because I feel like I always say that and I don't do it, but I'm really trying to be intentional with my time. So like I was about to say, there's only like four weekends or maybe five weekends in the month of October. When you look at it from that standpoint, it's only four opportunities to do things. So I also want to make better use of my time. So some of these things that we have planned to do, I want to also try to incorporate like on Fridays as opposed to trying to cram stuff on Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes doing stuff on a Sunday just makes you more exhausted on a Monday. And then for me, fall activities is, is October. November is prepping for the holidays. December is to, to enjoy the holidays. Ain't no fall festivals in November. I also tried to go to Target and get the um, film. They didn't have any, so I gotta go to another Target and get it. That's what I was supposed to do. But yeah, I wanna be able to like print out the pictures as things are happening. And then those are smaller, so they'll be able to fit in the notebook. By doing this, like I've already planned our activity for this weekend. I have another one. Oh, let me show y'all this candle that I got. Hold on. Came up with her own candle line. It's pronounced EO. EO. But it says we poured our heart into crafting products that bring nostalgia, comfort, and elegance into the home. Each scent is inspired by cherished moments in Marlinsville, Virginia, and our reusable vessels are designed to create a lasting impression in any space. So Kayla, she's the founder. The official launch for the candles is October. Once you buy the vessel, you sim simply swap out your inserts. Y'all know how we go to the store and we buy these candles and we're like, dang, this is a really cute container. Each vessel is handmade from onyx stone, so no two have the same design or pattern. Oh my gosh, she gave a discount code. A discount code, use Jenny Jack for 15% off the first purchase at checkout. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, let me just get to the point. But this is her packaging. Oh my gosh, Kayla, I'm so proud of you. Can y'all see that? This is what the side looks like. Oh my gosh, this candle is absolutely gorgeous. Can y'all see that? And she even has her logo engraved on the top. And then this is a separate box that has the actual candle on the inside of it. I put a lot of thought into this. This smells like something. It smells like a fragrance. What does this smell like? This is called Dogwood Handport in Georgia Memories from Virginia. This smells so good. I can't think of what it reminds me of. I would bottle this up as a fragrance, Kayla and put it down in here. I wanna do it carefully. And you can hide it. Freaking genius. And y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all know how I feel about heavy stuff. 
If it's heavy, it's good quality. Two sniff and scratch card like things where you can smell the other fragrances. I'm ordering both of these when they come out. Like I told y'all, these come out in October. I'm gonna leave her website. I've been talking about this for 10 minutes. This is amazing. Target. I came to get the Instax film. Hopefully they have it. Y'all probably hear my Target oh, part too. All right. I think it's over Mommy, here. They have Stitch. I think it's right here. It's where it was in the last Target. Yeah. What are we looking for? The film. Oh, I need more too. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're out of it. This it literally just, just told me that they had camera. it here. Where's my phone? No. Wait. This one's cute though. Like, they don't know what it's about. Like, top of the phone. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? Mommy. Is that this one? Where's this one at? Yeah, but they don't know that. It'll <laughs> <laughs> still show up. Thank you. I'm gonna walk around the other way. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, this is it. Candy in. It comes with a little uh, I'm done. ladle too. I'm done, mommy. We're done? Uh -huh. Okay, let me see it. Y'all remember in the last vlog I was telling y'all about a green, what's the name? Y'all can't see this. This is the mug I was telling y'all about. Now that I see it without the outfit, I don't like it. And it's $20. Also, that's a cute color. And I like these little Stanley cups. But I don't feel like they hold anything. Maybe this one? I have a black one. And the white one. And uh, comment down below a orange heart. Oh wait, no, sanitize your hands first. Don't yeah. Alright, so Poppy is new to this, okay? Lean that head, that means it's new. They came out with wild berry, so we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it first. We only bought one, but I'm gonna try it first. I ain't gonna tell Maddie what I think it tastes like. It's hot. I'm so nosy. Hold on to your horses, because I want to leave before this man. He looked like he hit cars. The aftertaste is very good. I don't like it. The what taste? The start. Start? But like the it's initial purple. taste? It's too sweet. It's not giving Poppy at all. Like, Poppy's original flavors are good because it balances well with the apple cider vinegar taste this right here they tried to go too far with it kenzie will drink it you like it it tastes like it's candy okay. Ugh, I disgusting the like car is clean it's time to go hurry mm. <laughs> we're about to take my plant outside and see if she flourishes or dies. Suzanne. 
The people just came to spray today, so I should not see any creatures, but I hear something. So she don't look like she too healthy, do she? I mean, she ain't dead, dead. But you're supposed to clip these. I ain't got time for all the dead. Should I take out this brown stuff? I feel like it's gonna be ugly. I'll repot her. It's cute, right? Cute, cute. And now I wanna There's get. Right I know they're dead though. They're little beetles. I wanna get one that has like a little bit more green or a little bit of yellow to put right here. And then I'll get my skeleton head and put that out. I'm not really a fan of this, but I, did, I guess it'll do. And then we'll put the skeletons out over there in that area. I have to take Maddie to practice so I don't have time to go and get the skeletons and stuff. But maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Y'all might see it on the next video. Oh, and Maddie's camera doesn't work. So hopefully when I find Kenzie's camera, it works. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go buy it. A new one and I don't want to do that. Like it all. They got a black one that looks like more adultish and it looks like vintage, but it's a hundred dollars and the reviews are worse than the ones that are like colorful and look like they're for kids. Ooh, I need to take the sea moss. It's been a minute. We're gonna get back on our grizzly. This might be the end, y'all. These vlogs ain't meant to be long. They're every other day, but hopefully we can get to about 20, 25 minutes, if not 15, 20. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, Benny. Good morning, friends. Today we are going to Home Depot because I was telling y'all yesterday that I wanted to get another mom, preferably a yellow one. I don't think they have green ones, but whatever. I have a meeting this morning that I have to do. I've been on calls for the last freaking. As soon as she see this chart, the the tablet come back on. It's charged, and then she immediately takes it off, and then it's dead. One second later. Oh, update. Y'all see? I took that. Um, curly hair out my head. It was. We just pulled up at Home Depot, but real quick, I wanted to, to say this. Ooh, you like the hair? And why are you part cricket? I was on TikTok today and I went down this rabbit hole of like all of the areas that were affected North Carolina, Florida, Georgia. Like the devastation is just sad. And I want to send my thoughts and prayers out to anybody who has been impacted by this. If you have family members who have been impacted by this, because. I can't imagine going to bed one day with everything intact and then waking up to like entire your entire city everything you know being wiped out and not everybody comes from money you know not everybody can just bounce back and not everybody has the luxury of being like oh we'll go to my in-laws or my mama house or my grandmother's house and then for it to happen right here before the holidays especially if you have kids some things can't be rebuilt you know what i'm saying like what about your grandparents house that maybe you inherit you inherited and prized possessions that you may have lost i don't know like it just puts things into perspective that you take for granted i pretty much say all of that to say we're coming up on a season of giving thanks and i just want to i i really just think that we need to really take gratitude in the simple things because it could always be worse and that could have been us it could have been anybody so when you find yourself complaining or maybe not being grateful in moments where you should be, just think about that. And it's not to minimize what you may be going through in that moment, but just taking mental note that, you know what, Lord, like I'm not even going to complain about the fact that I had to go in and reorganize my pantry for the 18th time today because at least I have a pantry to walk into. At least I have mess to be concerned with and it's not a natural disaster. Y'all get what I'm saying? So be more intentional. I know we talked about the word intentional, but it applies. Be she cannot drive. She about to tear this man's front end up, baby. And she, okay, and there's no cars in either of the parking spots behind her. So I don't understand why this is challenging. But again, it's not my problem. It's not my business. Y'all just be, be be thankful. Be, be, I, I cannot stop being distracted. Be thankful, be grateful because it could always, always, always be worse. Okay, so I got two big yellow ones and I'm concerned about the pot that they're in, but if I get the orange pots, I feel like it'll blend in good because some of the cheaper ones that are like $8 come in like these random ugly pots. So, and this is dude who's trying to talk to me, sell me something, child. I tried to pretend like I was on the phone, so when y'all see me have my phone to my ear, it was fake. I 
say y'all so hot out here. And then I'm sweating. As I was as I was getting back in my car, I realized like your hair was not down before. I don't go on scarf from Zara. My little new scarf. This is my first time wearing it. Fell off on the road. She come home with me. I'm sorry, I gotta tie my hair up. Oh my gosh, where's the freaking air? Oh, it's October. I don't know why I'm reacting this way, like it's not like this all the time. Anyways, I got my mom's. I did not get harassed by that guy. He was an older dude and he worked here. He was just doing his job, but if I'm walking away from you, just get the hint that I don't wanna be by that. I don't. I know people be trying to do their job, but <laughs> I didn't come here to socialize. I came here to spend my money and go on about my day. Let me do that in place. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, sanitize my hands. I cannot wait to get my nails done tomorrow because, well, look at this. Hideous. Decorate. <laughs> hmm? That's yellow. That's yellow. Excuse me. Thank you, flowers. Maybe we put this one over here. They so pretty, and the Corvin the Corvincas are still thriving over here. This is so pretty going up the stairs. I just hope when delivery drivers come, they don't mess with them. I could probably scoot them over just a little bit. And this is how I have this right here. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so hot outside. I was not expecting this. I bought this little thing yesterday. I was trying to show y'all when we went in the store. But I got this for the candy to go in because normally I wait till the last minute to get their little bags to do trick or treating in, which I showed y'all some vlogs ago. I got them some bags from Home Goods to do the trick or treating in. And then I always just end up having to use like a random ball around the house that is like green or something random. It doesn't make any sense. So I wanted to get this. This is a little bit deep though because I wasn't trying to buy that much candy. But if you go to um, Home Goods, which I haven't been there in a while, I think I'm going to go tomorrow on my little break of wood hay. But anyways, at the checkout line, when you were walking to the register, before you, not on the little end cap things, but when you're actually at the register, if you turn around, they should have a whole bunch of bags sitting around. And these look small, but they're super wide and deep on the inside. But these can be used multi-purpose. So you could be, you know, in Christmas time, going to get your groceries and putting your stuff down in here. But anyways, I just thought I would show y'all this. Okay, y'all, so when I was on my way home, I was looking at the trees, and I was just trying to see if the trees were changing. And it started to make me think about how fake the world is. Meaning, like, I was just like, is this world real? Like, is this a real world that we're living in? Because it doesn't seem like the same world that I grew up in. Does that make sense? So I'm saying, like, do y'all remember, if you were born before the 2000s, do you remember just how basic and simple life was just how disconnected you were just how in the moment you were we didn't know when tom joe dick and harry was decorating for the fall time or for the for the springtime or for the holidays now i feel like things are so rushed especially post pandemic because we are so in tune with what complete strangers have going on in their lives and you have fomo so if somebody says in august fall is coming up you know you better get all this stuff before it's gone everybody rushes to get it and then they over consume because it's like i gotta have any and everything and back in the day we didn't have social media so if somebody was literally decorating for fall on september 1st you would never know do you remember where you can go to the store the week or even the day before halloween and find you a halloween costume granted my mama was the same stress so she made all of our halloween costumes but i just remember being so freaking disconnected like i really wish we could go back to those days where cell phones did not exist like honestly and truly granted they've been lifesavers in a lot of situations but just to be a kid again where it was just like i only knew what my friends had going on and that was if i walked down the street to their house 
or you know word of mouth type of things but I, I don't know when I think about my childhood it's just like homey and and cozy and simple like even like October like the fall festivals and everything fall related was contained to October it wasn't in August nowadays I feel like people can't even enjoy summer because they're so focused on spring fall and like here we are in the thick of October and now all you see is Christmas stuff that's out and it's never been like this I feel like before the pandemic or maybe I just didn't pay attention to it because but I don't know it just bothers me even though I know I'm guilty of rushing it hell I bought stuff for Halloween and at the end of August but I don't know I just sometimes I, I wish I really wish we could just go back to the this is drying my throat out hold on <laughs> or maybe I'm talking too damn much I think it makes sense all in all I just I just when I think about romanticizing fall or romanticizing anything it is literally to take it back to the days creating nostalgic moments and really just soaking in like being present and like celebrating the small things as if you had nothing you know what i'm saying and like being disconnected it's something about being disconnected how are we really going to enjoy fall if we're already thinking about christmas i truly don't want to see a christmas tree right now like i don't like once november hits like it's it's a normal thing for us like we would always decorate for christmas on the the day after thanksgiving which i think is perfectly fine the reason why i have i like to spend november prepping for christmas just because to me it's not as simple as putting up a christmas tree there's a lot more that i like to do so i feel like if i spent that much time in december i would never actually get to enjoy the decor you know what i'm saying it's kind of like you're decorating your home and then you get to that phase where it's like now i can finally sit in it and enjoy it anyways y'all let me know if y'all ever be thinking about that like landline phones 